Hello, I previously created a video that showed you how to block access for a device on your Sky router at a specific time using a schedule. That was on an older Sky router. The process has now changed slightly for the newer Sky routers. The guide today, we're going to cover this process using the, the new Sky Hub, the current one as of 2015. I don't know exactly when it was released, but this video will target the one that you would get if you joined Sky in 2015. The model number of the router is SR102, and it looks a bit like the one shown in the picture here. To start the process, you want to open up your web browser <coughs> and to go to the following address, 192.168.0.1. And that will take you to the control panel for your Skyhub. And it should look a little bit like this. The first thing we're going to do, or well, the, the first of three things that we have to do, the first thing we need to do is to, first of all, find the device you want to control the access for and give it a reserved IP address. Each time a device connects to your Skyhub, there's a possibility that the IP address the Skyhub gives to that can change each time. So the first thing we're going to do is give a, what they call a static IP or a reserved IP address to that device. The next thing we're going to do is to set up the schedule. So which times the, the access will be blocked for that specific device. And the third thing we're going to do is create the rule that will bring those two together and block the access for that device that you've set at the specific time. The first thing we're going to do is go to the advanced menu and when we click on that we're going to be asked to, to log into the device. Now if you haven't changed the login credentials for the Sky router the default ones are admin and Sky and that will then take you to, to this page here and we're actually going to from the sub menu select the option for LAN IP setup. So within LAN IP setup, um, what we're going to do is go to the section in the middle of the page called Address Reservation. We're going to click on the Add button to reserve an IP address for a device. What that will then do is display the devices that are currently attached to your, your router. And I know the device I want to block just now is an Android tablet, and it's this one here. So currently that has an IP address of 192.168.0.15. The next time that that device connects to the network, it might be a different device or a different IP address, which means when we configure the access address blocking to this IP address, it, it may block a different device and not the device we intended. So I'm going to put the, select the radio button next to that device. That will automatically populate the options below for reserve an IP address. And then we're going to click on the add button. Now, what it's going to tell us is that to use the reserved IP address, we have to restart the Skyhub. Uh, so we press OK and the, the Skyhub will reset. Unfortunately, the, the time it takes, in my opinion, for the Skyhub to do a reboot is, is quite lengthy. It should be a quick process, but this one seems to take a, a lot longer than, than it should. So I'm just going to pause the video and we'll come back once the, the reboot has completed. Okay, the reboot has now completed and it takes us back to this page here. Um, now, I'm just going to check and confirm that the internet connection is working on the tablet I want to block access to. Yeah, so that, that's, uh, that's loading web pages. Fine, that looks okay. So what we want to do now is, uh, is go to the security menu. And when we click on security, we're going to have to log in again. So again, admin and Sky. If you have changed uh, that login, then you, you put your details in. If you would like to know how to change those login details, let me know and, uh, and I can show you. So once we've selected security, we're then going to select schedule. 
And then it, it gives you some details here, but if we scroll down, what we're going to do is pick the, the default schedule. Because what we're going to do is say we want to block internet access for a specific device, the, the device we set the static IP for, and we're going to say block it for the time we've specified in the schedule. So you can see at the moment it's currently blocked for every day and all day. So if we block on a schedule at the moment, it's going to block access all the time. What I'm going to do is, is select an, an example just now. So for, as an example, I'm going to say block access only on Sunday. It's currently um, just after one. So I'm going to say block it from uh, starting from one o'clock to two o'clock. A realistic example might be you want to block it each day between 7 p.m. and 8 a.m. Then, then you can do that. One thing you can see is that again it gives you the time down the bottom here to confirm that the time you put in, you know, that the time of the, the router, the date and time is correct. So I've selected we want to block it on Sunday between 1 and 2 p.m. I'm going to click apply. Okay, the page reloads and we can confirm that that's now saved. Um, now, one thing I'm going to just check again is to make sure that the internet, so the internet on the the tablet shouldn't have changed. So I'm just going to select another page and that has loaded successfully. So that looks okay. Uh, so now what we want to do is set up the firewall rules. So we've now got a static IP set for the device. We have set the time we want to block the device for. What we're now going to do is select under security, select firewall rules. Um, and this is where we're going to add a rule. So we've got two key sections here. We have the outbound services and the inbound services. Um, and then the inbound services, you'll notice that the default option is it, it blocks always to all devices on, on the network. Any LAN users, any WAN servers, block always. So we don't have to do anything at all with the inbound services. The outbound services, however, is where we're going to add the rule. So you can see the default option just now is enabled. And the option is to allow always any users. So we're going to click the add button here to add a rule in. And then in the service, we're going to select any all, which is the first option on the list. And the action, we're going to change from allow always to block by schedule. If there was a device you wanted to temporarily block altogether from the network, you would follow the same process. You wouldn't select the schedule, but you would select block always. So we're going to block by schedule. And then under LAN users, we're going to select a single address. And we're going to key in the IP address that we captured for the device before. And for me, that was 192.168.0.15. In the WAN users, we don't have to, to do anything here. We're simply going to go down the bottom and press OK or Apply. And then when we go back to the Firewall Rules page, we go down the bottom and press Apply again. And I'll now check the tablet just to make sure that the internet connection has stopped working. So on the tablet now, the status is the wireless is shown as connected as it was before. And when I select uh, a link in a web page, the, the page continues to load. And eventually what will happen is I'll get in a message to say that the page failed to load. That is how you block your internet access using the to a specific device on a schedule using a, a Sky SR102 router or hub. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. I will when I have some time, create a blog post that details step-by-step step each of the things we did there. Thanks for watching.